it's your girl sin and i am back with another video and if you want to see what i'm doing today stay tuned t -shirt welcome back print squad t-shirt preneurs big timers old timers and if this is your first time watching my videos welcome first timer as y'all know it is coming upon fall time and school has started back so the kids playing sports and as you guys know the first sport of the school year is football so i'm going to be making a custom football jersey right here so right here i have this blank football jersey and i'm going to be turning it into a team fan jersey so if you are interested make sure you stick around so for this design i'm going to be using some metallic htv and the design is a fairly simple design i'm just using a collegiate jersey style font i don't even remember the name of it right now but i already cut one of them out right here so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut the other one out and then i'm gonna get ready to weed so that i can press it and let you guys see what everything is looking like All right, so I have everything all weeded right here. This is the back. And as y'all see, this vinyl is, is curling up on me pretty good. It's curling up on me pretty good. So that's making it a little bit harder to work with. But as y'all see, that is the back. And I'm gonna grab a front and show you guys right quick. This is the front, okay? So as I was telling y'all earlier about the football jerseys right here, so, um pressing onto a football jersey and as you see it is it's perforated you can probably see my hand through there so it is perforated so if you actually just lay this thing down flat and press it like a regular t-shirt you can have issues with the front and the back sticking together so i'm gonna tell you guys some tools that can help you avoid that situation the first thing i'm going to show you is right here this is the stars hot tronic press and with the Stars Hotronics Press, it is actually made so that you can thread your whatever you're printing onto here, just like that. And then you can even like rotate it around. You don't even have to remove it off. If I had a, pla a protector on the bottom palette, it would be a lot easier to rotate, but you can rotate it around just like that. And it would be easier if I had a pallet protector on here, but I only have it on the top. And I'm going to show you a couple of other things you can do. All right, so right here, this is a Teflon cover right here. Just what you would use. It's kind of the same thing as this pallet protector that I have on the top. But instead of putting it on top, you would just slide it right inside of the shirt or the jersey i'm calling it a shirt but you would slide it right inside of there and when you press it that teflon cover it helps you avoid things sticking together so you wouldn't have to worry about things sticking together if you use that so option number two is parchment paper right here so if you have parchment paper you can do the same as with the as with the uh, Teflon sheet and stick it right inside there. You don't have to worry about those issues. And if you have, like with my heat press right here, with the Stars heat press, to me, this would be the best option for printing jerseys. If I had my pallet protector on there to make it easier to rotate and stuff like that. So I wouldn't have to take it off and put it back on, but it still wouldn't be too bad just to put it off and slide it back on. But I'm going to show you guys option number three that I'm going to say is the win for this job that I'm doing today. So, all right. So right here, I have a Teflon pillow for all these items that I use and mention in my video today. I will leave a link down below the video for you guys in case you are interested in purchasing. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and slide this inside 
of the jersey right here. So this set that I have, I showed it in other videos. It's got a whole bunch of different sizes. So because I'm printing like 2X and 4X in these jerseys today, the big ones work best. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, get this thing lined up correctly. And then I'm gonna grab my vinyl transfer and go ahead and press it and let you check it out. All right, so hopefully we got this thing on here good enough. We're gonna go ahead and press. <clears throat> Let me decrease some of the pressure. Everything is looking like right here that is the front and that is the back so I got one more to complete and hopefully I can get this done and then I'm gonna let you check them both out oh that is hot but it is a hot peel I'm gonna tap this other side. That one I like it look, it look a look. I like how that look. I am going to um, tap these again because I want to get that perforation. You know, the, the holes, I want the vinyl to kind of melt inside there a little bit. We're gonna tap that just so we can make it where it's warm enough to peel. All right, and I'm gonna I'm just take my uh, Teflon sheet. And we gonna just tap it one more time. So we can try to get that preparation showing through. All right, we just tap it for about five seconds. Yeah, and that, um, let me zoom in and let y'all check out what I, what I was trying to do. Hopefully y'all can kind of see. I just wanted to make sure that the perforations, you know, the little, like how it is in the jersey, I just want to make sure that that was showing on all of the vinyl. I'm gonna check this other one out that I haven't done yet. Like as you see right there, it's not, you know, you can see right there, it's not, you don't see the perforations all over it the same way. We want it to be just like this one. So we're going to go ahead and press the back of this one and then press the front and back of the other one. All right. And that's the look that we're going for. That is the look that we're going for, the preparations. All right, so now the inside of it, Y'all hear that? Because it was trying to stick to the inside of it, but because we use this Teflon pillow, we are good to go. So that should be the look that we are going for. So we're gonna peel it off, slide it out. This one right here, y'all, this is a, the 4X right here. So that's what it's looking like. And then we have the back. Now the top name is not perforated because it is not on the perforations, but I feel like it looks more Jersey-like by having the perforations. I'm gonna let y'all check the other one out. So we have right here, that's the two X and right here. And that's what we got.
So I have to get those things bagged up and shipped out. I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're still watching and you have not subscribed, what is you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you in the next episode. But until then, be blessed.